You're watching Sutledge TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London. Britain's Sikh population, whose ancestors first migrated from the Punjab more than a century ago, have long been admired as a model of integration and for maintaining a strong identity. Lauded in their country of origin and beyond for their valour, industriousness and charity, Sikhs took those values to Britain, which during the country's imperial past praised them as a martial race. They won accolades for standing up to rioters in London in 2011, for charity work during the coronavirus pandemic and, most recently, for feeding the hungry during the cost of living crisis. But the tight-knit community of over half a million in the UK is now appealing for help to address long-term issues such as racism and a lack of representation in politics and culture. The community has only two Sikh MPs and they argue they should have at least six or seven. There's also a similar disproportion in the civil service, the police and education system. But it's an Indian crackdown on the Khalistan movement, which wants an independent Sikh state in India, that has left many in the community particularly concerned. New Delhi has banned the movement as a security threat and taken a particular interest in those close to Amrit Pal Singh, the Sikh leader arrested in April in India after a month-long manhunt. Protests were held around the world over the manhunt, including in London, where Avtar Singh Kandar, a close friend of Amrit Pal Singh, was falsely accused by government-controlled Indian media of pulling down an Indian flag. The 35-year-old activist died on June the 15th under highly suspicious circumstances. His funeral at the Smethik Temple, which has pro khalistan flags flying outside, was attended by thousands. Justin Trudeau's announcement that India was likely behind the killing of another pro khalistan campaigner, Hardeep Singh Najjar, in Toronto in June, has now provoked uncomfortable questions about the death of Kandar that the British government has so far refused to answer. There's now a high level of apprehension and fear amongst Britain's Sikhs, especially those who travel back to India. The community fears that the UK government's desire to secure a trade deal with India's Hindu nationalist government has led them not just to ignore the community's concerns, but to also actively support Modi's agenda against the Khalistan movement. You've been watching Sutledge TV News. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And of course, if you have any comments or opinions on any of, your, any of our news stories, you can comment below. Or indeed, drop us a direct message at message at satledgetv.com. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching for Sutledge TV News. I'm Angus Scott in London.